It is now the middle of August, meaning that back to school is right around the corner. That was quick. So what's on people's minds as they get ready to send their kids back for another year? Rebecca Chasen is a partner at Deloitte Financial Advisory Services and joining us now live to address a wide range of issues. Rebecca, thanks for joining us on your Sunday. Deloitte just released that survey on what people are thinking as they get ready to start the new school year. Tell us a little bit about what you found. So we uh, surveyed parents with the kids who are school aged and going back to school in the fall. And what we found in Massachusetts that we saw there was an increase in spend over the national average with parents expecting to spend $847 a student. And how about spending trends? Is inflation playing a role? And how does Massachusetts stack up against other states? Yeah, so uh, many Massachusetts shoppers expect the economy to worsen in the next six months. And uh, a third of that are expecting to spend more year over year on back to school supplies, with 62% expecting to spend more because of higher prices. We're halfway through that sales tax holiday this weekend. Is this helping parents with their back to school shopping? Well, the timing of the back to school holiday is definitely helping because many Massachusetts shoppers do their back to school shopping between August and early September. So the timing is perfect. And what we continue to hear from parents is that they're expecting to spend more because of increased prices. So any potential savings is a welcome um, change for these parents. Also, not all parents are planning on spending on technology, but those that do say that technology is a big portion of their spend and technology items are um, reaping the benefit of the tax free holiday. And Rebecca, what are some of the other trends that you sense with parents and families for the upcoming school year? So we actually asked a couple of new questions this year. We asked parents about sustainability and about mental health. And what was interesting is we found that more than half of the parents we talked to have concerns about mental health for their children, and 40% of them are spending money on goods and services related to mental health. From a sustainability standpoint, we saw that more than half of the parents are choosing to spend on eco-friendly products, which is new this year for us. Is it still a thing, like you can use some of the supplies from last year, or they don't do that anymore? I'm not sure. Uh, regardless, when we talk to parents, whether they have products that they used last year or not, they're still planning on spending more regardless of what's in the closet. Okay, good for the economy and good for the kids to get what they need. Rebecca Chasen with Deloitte Financial Advisory Services. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much.